G'day everyone, day 10. Another quick and easy and uh, quite simple circuit. This is an infrared remote control tester. I don't know about you, but uh, if the remote control for the TV or whatever starts mucking up, I'm you know, always wondering if it's the batteries or if someone sat on it and broke it or you know it's kicked it around the room or whatever. Uh, generally, I, I get out a multimeter and I measure the batteries. Kind of annoying. This is a simple little circuit with a um, BPW34 pin photodiode in the front end that will directly pick up the, uh, the infrared radiation produced by the remote and tell you via making a sound through a piezo whether or not the thing is operating. Um, lots of circuits like this out on the net, but this one has its, uh, its own little unique features. Using the, um, the idea that we had a couple of days ago with the, uh, the log front end using a diode um, and its, its log characteristic to, uh, for currents, this has a, a logarithmic front end that doesn't jam easily which is uh, quite useful, so it can be used without any shielding of the, the LED, uh, the uh, photo detector. You can just have it out in ambient light, and it'll buzz a little bit, but uh, it's, uh, I'll show you in a minute, the, the circuit in practice. So uh, have a JFET buffering the photo current, uh, the photo conductive mode of the, the uh, pin diode, and have a simple little uh, amplifier, nothing particularly special. Yet again, I've built it sitting on top of a 9-volt battery because... You know, as I suppose as far as, as long as you can uh, find a 9 volt battery somewhere that isn't dead then you can uh, test if the batteries in your remote are dead anyway that particular conundrum is uh, an exercise for the uh, reader alrighty um, well let's have a look at the actual device you can see here I've built it sitting on a 9 volt battery there's the uh, pin diode there at the moment I've also got it hooked up to uh, an audio amplifier or partially hooked up to an audio amplifier just to show you that it is a reasonable photo detector and the uh, the logarithmic front end is actually quite a useful feature so let's see if I can do this one handed here's a remote control let's try a different one you can see it Acceptance angle is fine because it's because it's logarithmic. Backscatter will uh, from just about anywhere will work fine with it. All right, so let's hook this up. That's the buzz from the fluoro fluorescent lights. I can turn them off in a minute. Uh, all right, I've also got, as you can see here, the uh, audio, the AM modulator from the uh, AM Lightwave modulation project moment there's no audio signal being fed to it. Now if I give it one by turning on the radio here, you can see it's being saturated by the buzz a little bit. The uh, Because the front end's logarithmic, if I turn off the light here, and we get saturated again by the fluoros, but uh, it makes a reasonable front end. It's got a lot more distortion than the op-amp solution because obviously it's it's a logarithmic front end, but uh, also like a super generative receiver it tends to compress the um, the dynamic range of the detected audio which is a, I guess a feature as well. If you just want uh, communication quality audio it's actually quite acceptable. Let's just disconnect that for a minute because it's annoying. You can hear the sound also comes out of the piezo but at a much lower amplitude. Um, the, the piezo obviously is not a particularly good speaker and it's resonant about uh, uh, two and a half kilohertz. But for remote control use it uh, makes plenty of noise and will tell you quite rapidly if your remote control is good or you need to take it upstairs and fix it. Or find your batteries for it anyway. Alrighty, this is a quick one. Uh, I'll write it up eventually like all the other circuits when I uh, get around to writing up. Apologies for not, uh, not getting that underway sooner. But I'm trying uh, to play catch up here to uh, actually what's the 11th today, so I've still got a project to whip up soon. We'll see what we can do. Alrighty, till the next video. Bye.